Inside Swoops scores. And Swoops, who is so quick and agile. Swoops now has 11. You know, calling her a complete player. Cheryl Swoops with two defenders in her face. Swoops for three. Swoops pulls out. Over Smith. Swoops. Oh, man. 17 for Cheryl in the first half. You're looking at college basketball, the women's player of the year. On the court, though, what made you so successful? On the court, what made me successful? I would say just that the passion that I had to, to be the best. Um, I was never satisfied with just being okay. I was never satisfied with just being good. I always wanted to be the best. Um, I always felt like there's somebody somewhere working a little bit harder than me wants it a little bit more than me, so what am I going to do to be the best? Um, and I, I, I try to never put myself in a position or, or in a situation that was not only going to make myself uncomfortable, but my teammates. And, you know, I always try to be the best teammate that I can possibly be. And I think because of that, um, that's what made me so successful on the basketball court and just being passionate about it and I always said when that passion ran out and when I didn't have that that fire anymore or that hunger anymore then I knew it was time for me to move on to something else and that time has now come. After such a decorated career um, what's next for Cheryl Swoops? You know I, I don't want to just jump right into something because I'm no longer playing um, I have to, the, sa the same way I approached playing on the basketball court, I have to find that passion. I do have a passion for kids, um, love working with girls. I just, I feel like my journey through basketball was a small part of, of why I was put on this earth. Um, now it's time for me to take that, what I learned as a basketball player on the basketball court, and share that with others. And I don't know what that means, if that's coaching, um, here at Tech someday. Um, I don't know exactly what that means, but you know, I just kind of sit and, and, and I pray about it, and I talk about it, and I think about it, and when it hits me, it's like, huh, that's what it is. But I do know it will have something to do with um, teaching this game, um, not just on the court, but you know, helping young ladies and, and teaching girls about life after basketball. Lastly, you say that you, you don't want girls to say, I want to be the next Cheryl Swoops. I want them to be who they are. But what advice would you give to girls who do aspire to reach the goals that you have achieved during your career? You know, I, I think it's okay to have a role model, um, which is something I, I take tremendous pride in. Um, I think it's okay to have those role models, but I don't think you should sit there and try to be that person um, because every, everybody is, is different and everybody's put on this earth for a reason, I believe. Uh, but what I would say is, you know, it, it wasn't an easy road for me. It wasn't even today, it's still not an easy road. Um, but because I believed in, in who I am, I believed in myself, I had these goals and dreams of things that I wanted to accomplish. Um, I didn't allow anything to, to distract me. I didn't allow anything to stop me from achieving those goals. And if I had to give one piece of advice, that's what it would be. It would be, you know, what, whatever it is you aspire to be in life, whether that's an athlete, a, a doctor, a lawyer, president of the United States of America, uh, whatever it is, um, you, you know that it's going to be difficult. There are going to be obstacles. Um, but as long as you continue to, to fight and believe in yourself every time you get knocked down, you know, you got to get up and say, okay, I got knocked down going that way, so let's try it a different route. Um, you just have to set goals for yourself, um, work hard, believe in those goals, and know that anything you want to do, you can accomplish it.